Twas the month of Christmas and everyone was full of glee, for there are so many exciting video games beneath the Christmas tree. We have Horizon, Bayonetta, Stray and Kratos by the Christmas Ham. Oh, and who could forget our favourite deranged satanic friend, Cult of the Lamb. This year was proof miracles can come true, for Elden Ring was finally released, showing us what open world games could truly do. But nothing would surprise us as much as the miracle during summer, when Cyberpunk was brought back to life all thanks to Edge Runners. Unity decided to merge with a previous malware installer for $4.4 billion of stock. Just before Unity's CEO declared devs who don't prioritise mobile monetization are fucking idiots. Which, let's be honest, came as quite a shock. Then they cancelled Gagaya and laid off the staff, setting the engine to implode. All while Donkey announced his new video game publisher, Big Mode. The biggest leak in gaming history happened when Rockstar got hacked. GTA 6 was shown to the world and the leaker got ransacked. As footage of a game in development was shared and mocked ignorantly, game devs and studios alike came together to share AAA development footage in solidarity. ID Software's studio director bent the truth about Doom Eternal's OST, thinking Mick Gordon was a sucker. But Mick cleared his name with evidence, leaving Marty Stratton to begin to pucker. PlayStation evolved PlayStation Plus in the hope to compete with Xbox Game Pass. Too bad as it stands, it's not enough to outclass. As the Federal Trade Commission locks eyes with PlayStation, Xbox and Call of Duty, Sony isn't so happy with Microsoft hoarding all the booty. Nibble retired from being a renowned industry journalist as exemplary independent reporters rarely find secure funding. Meta let 11,000 employees go as they try to keep blundering, and Pokemon gave us shoddy performance poker dicks and muscular Pokemon trainers that left us all swooning. Of course, it was another year where a lot of people sighed, but it was known more empirically as the year Stadia finally died. It's becoming rare for games to release playable where we find developers haven't lied, when there are no game-breaking bugs, glitches or performance issues that they always try to hide. But we all find out in the end, keeping it from reviewers does not grant time to bide, for we stand together and call for standards to be upheld, not to be taken for a ride. Alas, we'll see what the industry has in store for us next year. Whatever it may be, we'll take it in its stride. For we rejoice united in our passion for gaming, bringing us closer together worldwide.